Hello and welcome to the Thursday, October 10th, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I am recording from Chicago, Illinois. Brad in his diary today is talking about the VIDAR information stealer and in this case he is looking specifically at the data that this information stealer does exfiltrate. Now of particular interest is a post request that is sending a zip file to the command and control server. Now this post request is not just sending the zip file, it's actually a multi-part miming coded post. It's sending a couple of additional pieces of information like for example a hardware ID, the exact operating system architecture and the like. So if you are using just the plain Wireshark export objects feature and export the HTTP object, what you end up with is not just the zip file, you're ending up with the entire multi-part MIME request. So what you'll have to do here is you will have to remove the respective header, everything up to the PK header of the particular zip file and that leaves you then with just the zip file. As usual, Brad has a step-by-step -step walkthrough of this particular process so it shouldn't really be that hard to replicate it for you and of course you also get links to the actual pcaps so you can experiment with this. The zip file, well, uh, no huge surprises here. Things like screenshots, passwords, and other information are being exfiltrated by this information stealer. And then we got details regarding two of the vulnerabilities that Microsoft patched this week as part of the big patch Tuesday. The two vulnerabilities, CVE 2019-1166 and 13.3.8 are somewhat similar in that they do affect the message integrity check or MIC in NTLM authentication. Now, one way how you do protect against NTLM relay attacks, which is one of the main so methods how an attacker may actually exploit the NTLM authentication exchange is to require that messages are digitally signed. This requirement is communicated as part of the NTLM handshake and the messages are supposed to be protected from tampering by a message integrity code or MIC. This vulnerability was discovered by Yaron Sinar and Marina Simakov from Preempt. And these two researchers also found an earlier similar attack that allowed essentially to turn off the signing requirement. Now what they did in the earlier attack was essentially just remove the MIC from the message. No MIC, nothing to validate and now you were free to alter the message. The fix for this particular problem was to introduce the MSV AV flag. Uh, this flag indicates that there is supposed to be a MIC so now you can't just remove the MIC make any more. Now since it's not possible to easily remove this flag field, what they actually came up with was to add an additional MSVAB flag field that would indicate that there is no MIC and with that they would be able to remove it again. So using this trick, uh, NTLM relay attacks were possible again, uh, but as I said, Microsoft has fixed this vulnerability in this week's update. Now, if you have an Android phone, you probably know by now that one of the safer ways to get your applications is from Google's official Play Store. But sadly, even though Google has improved some of the methods it's using to keep bad applications out of the store, according to a Dr. Web report, they still manage to host a number of applications that do include banking malware, spyware, and 
other malicious software. Often this malware comes disguised as a game and Dr. Webb has a couple of examples here. None of the ones that uh, I've seen in the report have a ton of installs, which I guess is a good thing. Uh, however, some of the reviews actually of the games within the Play Store are looking uh, reasonably good that someone may be tempted to actually install these games. So as usual, be careful, double check the publisher of the game. And if it's a game in particular that usually costs money, but all of a sudden you find it from another publisher for free, then be very careful. Well, and the zit for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.